Okay, Rabbi Say, Shalom Aleichem. So we all know the uh, the minute that uh, when we before we begin to daven the Shemayin Esra, we step three steps forward. Actually, uh, today most of us step back before we step forward, but that's just because we don't want to take somebody else's place. The the minute is to step forward three steps. It's noteworthy that that uh, the minute to the, the the stepping back when we finish the Shemay Nesra is a Mafura Shigimara in Mesechtis Yoimo, Dafnun Gimelam in Beis. It's like a Niftar Milifnei Hamelech. And we, uh, it's Gepaskint in the Shulchan Aruch and in the Rambam in Hilchis Tvila. To, to, to take three steps back after you conclude the Shemay Nesra. However, however, the stepping forward before we begin the Shemay Nesra is only quoted in the Ramo, only quoted in the Ramo. Uh, the Ramo in Simit Tzadik hey, says, Yesh Oimrim, Kisha Oimeid lehispalel, Yeleich lefonov gimel psiois, Derech kiruv vahagosho, Ledovar shetzorich lasis. As this is, expresses approaching, becoming close to what is going to be done. And the source of this is in the Reikeach. That's the source of this minig in the Reikeach, in Hilkes Tvil, is Simen Shin Chav Beis. What does it say in the Reikeach? In the Reikeach, it's B'zosh. The Reikeach says, Uke sheyach poitz lehispalel. When one wants to daven, Yeleich lefon of Gimel Psiyas, he should st- take three steps forward. Shekosov Gimel Hagoshois Litfila, because we find three times the word Hagosha approaching in the context of Tfila. Where are those three? Vayigash Avraham, Vayigash Yehuda, and Vayigash Eliyahu. Which is that by Avram, it says in the beginning of Parshis Vayero, it says, Vayigash Avram, Vayoyme, Haaf, Tispe, Tzadik in Russia, when Avram Avinu is davening to save Snoim, it says, Vayigash Avram. By Yehuda, it says in our Parsha, Vayigash Elov Yehuda. By Leo, it says in Malachim Aleph, Baalois Hamincha, Vayigash Elio. Which is also a context of Tfila. So true by Avram and by Elio, we're talking about a Hadgosha in the context of Tfila. But in this week's parsha, the Vayigash Eil of Yehuda is all about Yehuda approaching Yosef. Vayigash Eil of Yehuda, Vayoyme, Bi Adoini, Yedaber no Avdecho Dovor Boozne Adoini. So how do we learn from here? We say that one of the three steps we take before we dive into the Shemanesha comes from the Hagosha Litfila that appears in the Pasik Vayigash El of Yehuda. It's totally uh, modern. The, the, the truth is that this Pasik is altogether hard to understand. I mean, Yehuda and Yosef are already talking to each other. They're in the middle of a conversation. In the end of last week's Pasha, the, 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 the two psukim before this Pasik, Vayigash of Yehuda. It says, Vayoyme Yehuda. Yehuda says to Yosef, Man noy man la adoini, man edaber, man edstadok, ho eloikim, mozo es avoin avodecho, hininu avodim la adoini. And we'll all be avodim. And then Yosef says, Vayoyme. So they're in the middle of a conversation. And now we start again. He's right there. What's this Vayigash all about? This is Rashi says, Rashi says, I mean, when we speak, it enters on the ears. I mean, it doesn't enter in the nose. So why why is he saying So Rashi says he konsu dvorai that uh, he's requesting that what I'm saying should 
enter your ears. It shouldn't just uh, stay on the surface. You should receive what I'm saying. Meaning that uh, people hear what they listen for. They call today active listening. I mean, it's not, it's not so simple. I mean, talk is not always heard. Uh, you only hear if you're listening, and that's the request of Yikonsu Varai Boznecho. I mean, Yehuda knows all too well that talking doesn't guarantee that what is being said will be heard. I mean, we read in last week's parsha. I mean, it says Vayoymru Vayoymer Ishel Ochiv Avol Hashem Imanachnu Alochinu. So they personally, I mean, knew that you can hear and not hear. By the way, as an aside, I just want to point out that the next Pesach over there, in last week's parish, it says, Vayan Ruvein Oisom Leimor, Haloy Omerti Aleichem Leimor, Al techtu bayeled v'lo yamatem v'gam domo hina inidrosh. After the brothers already said we're guilty, aval Hashem amanachnu. We heard him crying. We heard him begging. We didn't listen. We didn't hear. And then, uh, and then, uh, I mean, Ruvain wants to like rub it in. He says, "Bayan Ruvain oisam leimah halo yamanti aleichem leimah al techtu bayeled v'lo yamatem." What, what, what does he want? He, he, he's trying to, to rub it in. He's trying to make them feel even worse. What's the purpose? What is he trying to bring out? And, and by the way, where, where does it say Bechlal that Yehuda, that, that Ruven said that? You know, if you look in, 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 uh, in uh, Parshas Vayeshev, where, where the story appears, it doesn't say Bechlal, it says, Vayoimru, they saw him coming. Vayoimru ish el ochiv hine bal hachaloi mois halozeh bo. Vaato lechu v'nahargehu v'nashlichehu ba'achad ha'boyrois. V'omarnu chayo roa cholosu v'nire ma yiu chaloi mois lav. V'yishmaru v'nyatzilei umyodom v'yoim eloi nakenu nofesh. So obviously, this Vayishma Ruvain, this Vayishma Ruvain is that he heard the Behishanenoi, Eileinu. Because what does it mean, Vayishma Ruvain? He heard that they want to kill him? I mean, he was, he was part of the plan. It says, they saw him from far. They snack Loisilami, so Ruvain is included. Not only is he included, but Rashi says that Ruvain was the Bechor of a God of they couldn't They couldn't have a plan without Ruvain's consent. So obviously, Ruvain was part of the original plan. So after they say, what did he hear? So it must be that this is what he heard. He heard the Behishan Ve'eleinu. And at this point, the Vayoyme, Loi Nakenu Nofesh, that's what he's referring to now. And Mistama, what Ruben is trying to say is, you're feeling guilty about not hearing Yosef, but that's not enough of a tshuva. You also have to feel guilty about not taking the toichecho. I mean, I told you. So that's another thing you should have heard. You didn't hear Yosef, and you also didn't hear me, and that's also part of the tshuva process. But in any case, so not always do we hear. Not always do we hear. And 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 uh, and Yehuda is now telling Yosef, "Yikonsu dvorai ba'oznecha." So what is this pasuk? Vayigash elov Yehuda. In the middle of the conversation, you know, the pasuk says, "Vayigash elov Yehuda." In other words, he approached to him. Yehuda. He came close to him, Yehuda. It should have said, Vayigash Yehuda Elov. I mean, who's, who's doing the Vayigash? Yehuda's doing the Vayigash. The Elov belongs after the Yehuda and not before the Yehuda. 
In the Svasemis, he says that the A love has three meanings to him. Who's the to him? He says to him has one meaning to himself. Vayigash A love Yehuda means Yehuda approached himself. Has another meaning that he approached Yosef. And has another meaning that he approached HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And obviously these three are connected to each other. I mean to say sometimes, you know, you're talking to somebody, but the, the talk is empty. You're not really there. I mean, you're not in the words. The, the, the talk is min hasafa v'lachutz. You have to be really present in the talk in order to create real communication. So the first step, the first step is vayigash eil of Yehuda, that Yehuda approaches himself. He's totally present. Yehuda Bamis is not saying anything new in this parasha. He just repeats the whole story. And the story, they both know it already. So what's this repetition for? How did this repetition bring about the lo yochol Yosef lehis apek? What happens? Obviously the authenticity of Yehuda doesn't allow Yosef to remain indifferent. And he also reveals himself. Sometimes when we're under pressure, we escape even more from ourselves. I mean, really, you know, an emergency also has a, should, should, should sometimes and could be a beginner of a merge and see. But usually, Usually, it's not so. Usually, when a person is experiencing a crisis, he actually tunes out and he, he escapes. He escapes himself. He goes into denial. The, 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 he, he's not himself. He's not himself. And that just complicates things. So the first step is Vayigash A love Yehuda, that Yehuda approaches himself. He unwinds, he, 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 he releases the pressure and he is completely present. And then, Vayigash Eil of Yehuda in the sense of Yehuda approaching Yosef. And then he doesn't really have to say any tirutim and any chidushim. He just needs to repeat the experience from his place. And when he presents his experience from his place, they're together only. Because if you, if you, I mean, maybe, you know, you're vulnerable and you're exposed and you're real. So then Yosef also becomes real. And Velayachol Yosef lehis apik. And then, when a person approaches himself, he's also close to the Rabbi Nishalom, because who are we? I mean, we're B'Tselem Eloi Kim Oses Adam. We're a Chelech Eloi Kam Imal. The distance is only in the uh, illusion of our external existence. When we are in touch with our real self, we're in touch with our divine essence. And as Swaram say, Biyadoini really is a reference to that idea, referring to the master of all masters, referring to the Rabbani Shalom, Biyadoini, that the Adoini is B. Why from that Vayigash A love Yehuda in all three meanings are all one. So where are we stepping to? Where are, we, where are we walking to when we, 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 we step those three steps before the Shemineser? I mean, today that we are noyik to step back before we step forward, so we're actually going back to the same place we came from. I mean, we're not, we don't need to go someplace new. 
We don't need to arrive at a different place. We're actually going back to where we were. However, by route, we 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 the 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 the, the, the our 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 um, routine being there causes us not to be present where we are. I mean, we're here. You know, it's like now with the Zoom. They say you know it's 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 everybody's home when there's a lockdown, but nobody's home. The pshat is you can be here and not be here. So the pshat is that 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 we say that you were here, but you have to refresh your being there. In other words, you step back, you step back three steps, and then you step forward, back to the same place that you were. But now it's a new being here. You're aware of your presence over here. That's a way, that's a way of bringing yourself into the Tfila mode into the mode of Ayigash Elov in the sense of Elov to the Rabbanu Shalom, Elov to yourself, and 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 that's the three Hagoshes Latfila. Look, we we talk about Kaveya Mokam Latfila. So we talk about Kaveya Mokam Latfila. So we have three Tfilas, the same Nusach, three times a day, and uh, at the same time the Mishnah says Al Tas Tfilas Chokeva. It's a tremendous challenge. So every time we take those steps, it's about it's about restarting, it's about refreshing, it's about it's about making ourselves present in the tefillah. Like the Baal Shem Tov says, boy el hateva has also a meaning of come bring yourself into the words of the tefillah. He says, boy el hateva is the teva is tefillah. Bring yourself into those words. Be, and and don't don't remain an outsider. If we want kaviyochel that ye konsu dvorai baoznecha of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, we need to be totally present in those words. You know, Reb Chanina ben Doisa says in Brachas Daf Lamed Dalid, how do I know if my tefillah is mekubeles or meturefes? Im shgurot filosi befi yoidea ani shehi mekubeles. So, what does it mean, Shgura Tfilasi Befi? Shgura Tfilasi Befi is that I'm in the words. I'm in the words. I'm experiencing that Vayigash. And that's all, 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 that, all that's needed. Because once there's the Boya Lateva, once there's the Vayigash Elov in the sense of I'm here, the Rabbi Shalom is here with me. I mean, it's, 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 it's just that I'm always running away from myself and therefore I'm outside the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's like this. The the Bemis and Tefillah, Pashtas, we're talking. But that's only the Pashtas because uh, there's also a concept of Hashma Oznecha Ma'asha Ato Moitzi Mipicho. According to the Mekubolim, Ato is not referring to you as an individual but referring to Knesset Yisroel, the, the, the Klali is the Keneshama of all Klal Yisroel. Meaning we first have Pesukah de Zimra, when we talk about Halaluhu Shemesh V'yorayach and Halaluhu Kol Koych Ve'yor. We then, Tanina V'chol Tehoimais. Then we have the Birchus Kriya Shema, where we talk about the Song of the Malachim. So we're talking about the ent- all, all of creation and all creatures craving connection with the creator. And then we tune into that ourselves. And what it means is that hashma lo'oznecho, masha ato moitzi mipicho, is that we go into a position of listening. We're listening to the Knesset Yisrael Dike Shira, Tfila, and craving for connection with the Rabbani Shalom. And, 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 and that's what we're actually listening to when we daven, we're not just, it's not, you know, and sometimes, so let's put it this way, sometimes we don't feel worthy. We can feel down and out, and who am I, and what am I, and, and, and who am I to daven, but if we, if we, if we realize that this filler is really not, it's not just a personal thing, it's, 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 it's becoming a clea 
becoming a vehicle for expressing the shiro and the tefillah of creation, of Knesset Yisrael, and I'm just listening. It's like it's like you hear sometimes somebody davening so beautifully, and 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 it it impacts you. You could be that somebody. Listen to yourself. So that's also part of the vayigash el of Yehuda, because who's your real self? Sometimes we're not even in connection. We're not even in contact with our our real self, and we need to have that vayigash el of. That's one of the gimel hagoshes latfila is the Vayigash Elov, to come closer to ourselves. And that is the coming closer to the Rabbi Nishil Yeah, so, I mean, I think, having said that, um, I'm going to wish you all, I mean, a meaningful fest. And, uh, and a good Shabbos.